I need more coffee. <sighs> oh, that's better. Now I've had this question asked me a couple of times. What's the best alternative um, tubeless tape or tape that you can use to make your wheels tubeless? And there's a lot of things that you can use and there's a few things that I've tried and it don't work out at all. Now the thing that I'm going to use today is something that's available on the market and um, there's a lot of people that tried to use this and failed but I'm going to... Can I get a... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> So there's a lot of people that use this and fail, so I'm going to show you guys the one trick that works really well when using things like duct tape. Now this is a very good alternative for making... Now before we get into this video, I want to welcome you guys back to the channel. Thanks for all the support this last two or three months. It's been crazy. The channel has grown so much. Um, our views, our watch time, even the subscriptions have gone up crazy. Um, so if you've stumbled upon this channel and you're a new uh, viewer to this channel, I recommend you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on anything else we do. Now, we do cycling review videos, how-tos, riding our bikes and just having some fun in general. Um, so don't miss out on anything of that. So the wheel I'm going to use for today is this Roval Carbon um, Control SL wheel. Now we replaced the spoke on this and uh, what I'm going to do now is, um, well it actually broke a nipple, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some insulation tape onto the, that's the normal electric tape. It looks like this. I'm going to apply some electric tape onto this just to make sure that we cover the whole um, surface on this. Now these things I've seen, the duct tape, it sticks on here quite good, but not as great as it sticks onto itself or onto another rubber surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the electric tape first, make sure this is nice and clean. You can use some spirits or desperate clean or anything, just to make sure the inside where you're going to stick your tape um, is quite uh, oil free and nice and clean. And so use that. So I'm going to put on electric tape real quick and then we're going to move over to the duct tape and I'll show you guys how nice this sticks to the insulation tape or electric tape. Well, now I have to redo this whole little tip that I just did. Maybe it's a good thing. Now, while this is just a quick tip, while your wheel is stripped down to basically having the tire and the rim tape and all those things off the wheel, it might be a good thing just now and again, not every time, but in this case, the nipple on the wheel broke. And I'd recommend you guys use something. I'm going to use this, or I use this multi um, product from Worth. Now, what this does, and I'm going to quickly read it to you, um, it, it, it dissolves seized parts removes squeaking, reduces friction and wear, protects against corrosion, cleans and cares without smearing. Now the basic thing you want with that is just to make sure that the wind, moisture, or water comes into your wheel. It just helps care a bit for your spokes and then the nipples and you don't have to do this every time. Anyway, I'm going to continue. I'm not going to redo that. Anyway, um, so and obviously I, I spoke about the lubricating spray whatever just put some into every hole and then make sure that you clean the surface um, of your rim I use some brake parts cleaner um, and some paper towel and I just made sure that the surface that I'm sticking the insulation tape or electrical tape onto will be nice and clean so I've done that I've worked it into all the corners very nice I make sure there's no bubbles in here and then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take the duct tape or tubeless tape they are calling this tubeless tape these days I'm going to take the duct tape I'm going to start sticking around, I'm going to take it around two times. So if you start at a point, make sure you go around two times past that point and always start opposite to your valve hole. So there's a valve hole, I'm going to start there, going to go around twice and then we'll see how good it looks and then I'll show you guys just the best tips for putting your tire onto the wheel without pushing this off the rim. So let's do that quickly.
I've uh, applied the duct tape or alternative tubeless tape uh, onto the rim. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take a small little Allen key and from the valve's hole I'm just going to make a small little uh, mark for me so I can see exactly where I need to make my hole. And I'm going to take it from the top. Just give it a little bump through there and then you'll have your little hole there. The reason I'm not using my valve um, to make the hole, number one, sometimes around the valve hole it tears the tape and you don't want that because then you don't have that good seal and I've actually had a couple of times where you bend the little valve core there and that's also something you don't want. I've got a little hole there, I'm going to put the valve through and you know there's a nice tight seal through there and then make sure when putting your valve in, I'm not sure if you guys were able to see there's a small little black rubber part on the end of your valve. Make sure you put, push that through all the way um, when installing your valve. So you know you've got a very good seal there. We're going to put on our lock ring. The lock ring is not there to tighten the valve into... <laughs> I'm not going to use the word. But it's basically there just to keep the valve in position. Yes, you are going to tighten it a little bit to make sure there's a nice seal. But don't tighten it with a set of pliers or anything. You can literally use your hands to do that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the tire on there. I'm going to use... My 120 mils of sealant because I'm actually refilling the tire, it's not a top up. If it's a top up, you can use between 80 to 90 mils of sealant. Because this is a refill, I'm gonna go from 120 to 150 mils of sealant. And um, then we're gonna inflate the tire to about two bar so it seats nicely around the rim. And then we'll see if there's any leaks on this. So, yeah, let's do that. <coughs> what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let you guys in on a little trade secret. Well, especially when working on tubeless wheels or carbon rims, you don't want to get anywhere near it with tire levers. What sometimes happens is you get on putting your tire on, and then you get to a point where basically it feels like the tire is stuck and won't go any further. For example, this point here. And then usually we grab our tire levers and we try to work that tire over the rim and it doesn't work. Nine out of ten times you end up damaging the rim tape on the inside. You can damage your carbon wheel when you're using the tire levers. Now I know, I know there's some tires that you won't get on without a tire lever. But in this case the best thing that you can do is just push your tire into the center of the rim. Now where that little indent is on your rim, if the whole tire sits in that indent, Alright, sorry guys, the GoPro decided to take a quick nap, so we're charging it. Anyway, what I was saying is, make sure that your tire is into that little indent um, in the rim, and then you should be able to, with your hands, push the tire over the rim. Now you guys can see how I'm doing it with my hands, and it's really not that difficult. So yeah, now we're going to clean this part up real quick. We're going to use our normal hand pump and see if we can inflate this to 2 bar. otherwise I'll just use the compressor, and um, we'll check for some leaks. If there's anything, I'll show you guys. If not, um, then we know we've done it right. If you've got leaks and it's leaking out through the valve, don't grab a pie and continue turning that. Um, it won't stop. If this is too loose, yes, there will be some um, air leaking through there and then you can tighten it with your hands. But the moment you start grabbing a pie, you know you're going the wrong way. And if you've got some leakage through the nipples or through the holes where the nipples come through, then you know you've damaged your rim tape or that it's not been um, put on correctly. So the first step, make sure that you clean the rim, make sure that you put some, you can use just the duct tape if you want, but just go for four layers and instead of two. Um, what I do is I put some insulation tape or electric tape on there, and then my two layers of uh, duct tape or um, tubeless tape, and that works very, very well. So that's a good, cheap alternative to making your wheels tubeless. I'm going to do some motivation up later, and then I'll see you guys on the next video. Enjoy. All right, so I didn't do the motivation yesterday, so I always do it. And um, I thought before I start with today's video or the next video, I'm going to share a little bit of uh, motivation or encouragement with you guys. Now, yeah, my bed is finished. It's really finished. <laughs> and, and we've got plans. That's why I'm buying a new one at the moment. But this morning I woke up and my body was aching and I didn't sleep too well and I felt I want to stay in bed. And, and I just wanted to let that negativity take over and just keep me down and keep me flat on my back and today I want to encourage you guys don't let that feeling win don't let that that overpower you to stay down I know it's not always easy but I encourage you guys 
never stay down. Always stand up, get up, dress up and show up. Don't let that feeling keep you down in bed or keep you from a new challenge or keep you from a new um, possibility in your life. Because if you keep on uh, lying down in bed or just don't stand up at all, it's going to keep you away from new challenges, it's going to keep you away from new possibilities. I encourage you guys, always stand up. Be strong, stay safe and never say never.